Welcome to West Park Wednesday Words of Wellness. Hello, I am Eddie St. Clair from West Park Rehab Physical Therapy and Diagnostics. And today we are going to talk about running. There are only two types of runners, those who do run and those who don't run. <laughs> For those who do run, we understand this is a very healthy activity with a multitude of physical and emotional benefits. But we also know that runners are prone to injury. Injury in the foot or ankle, knee, hip, sometimes the low back. This is where physical therapy and diagnostic testing can be beneficial. We're going to take just a moment and check in with our on-site musculoskeletal ultrasonographer expert, Beth Carr, as she is examining a runner's hip joint. So we have your femoral head is right here, along with here's the shaft of your femur, and then here we have your acetabulum coming in from your pelvis, and your labrum is right here. So, and like you had said that you didn't have, you had the cam deformity, and that's here because you don't have that perfect ball of your femoral head. It's a little bit more um, oval over here. And then these are your iliopsoas muscles up here. So the combination of an expertly performed physical therapy evaluation combined with diagnostic ultrasound brings about the most accurate information helping us form a working diagnosis, which then helps us put together a treatment plan to help a person improve their situation. Many of our therapists here at West Park Rehab are also avid runners themselves. Let's take a listen to one of our team members talking about exercises specifically to help prevent injury in runners. With the upcoming cross country season and other races, we thought it'd be a good idea to talk about injury prevention in runners. One part of this, as I'm sure you've heard before, is cross training. When you run, about three times your body weight lands on each leg with each stride. So it's really important to build single leg stability. So we're gonna give you some exercises you can add in for that. So the first exercise to work on is a single leg stance. So making sure your alignment is good and being able to balance on one leg. This is crucial for other single leg stability exercises and for running because you're only on one leg at a time. You can also add in single leg glute bridges. So you'll get ready just like a regular glute bridge, but you're gonna leave one leg down, the other leg that's up, keep your thighs parallel, and go ahead and push through the heel of the foot that is down, keeping your legs parallel the whole time. You could also put your leg on an uneven surface, such as flipping over BOSU ball on foam to make it more challenging and really challenge that single leg stability. The next exercise we're gonna add in is a single leg deadlift. So once again, you're gonna get in that single leg stance position Keep the leg that isn't down straight and you're going to try to maintain a straight neutral spine as you go down. Go ahead and hinge at your hips and come back up. You should be feeling it in the glute of the leg that is down. You can also add in exercises that more specifically mimic the actions of running. So we're going to go into a lunge and then drive up with opposite arm and leg while still working on the leg that's down stability. So go back into a lunge and drive up. That's all we have for you. Thanks for watching. So if you are a runner and you are having problems in your lower extremity, you can click this button below and request an appointment to have one of our expert physical therapists perform an examination on you and work on a plan to help you feel better, live better, and move better.
And if you need us, we'll be there for you